nothing drew me to want to be a per funny person. I wanted to be a journalist, so that's why This Hour is 22 Minutes was such a good fit for me, because though I wasn't really a journalist, I got to play one on TV. But, you know, I mean, being from Newfoundland, pretty well everyone is funny, and everyone in my family, even though I didn't get to grow up with them, but the time I spent with them, they were definitely funnier than I was. And so I quit theater school and came home to do a tour with uh, Codco of Cod on a Stick uh, in Newfoundland. And that went fairly well, you know, because I think I knew about comedy because Newfoundlanders kind of do know a bit about comedy and how to make that remark. A lot of undercutting remarks. I was pretty good at the undercutting remark, not necessarily good at the kinder kind of comedy. Stand-up comedians are very different people than sketch comics. I'm a sketch comic. I've worked with people all my life. I've worked collectively with people. And I've, I've, it's very hard for me as Mary Walsh to go out and make jokes. I can make jokes as Mark Delahunty or, or Connie or any of my characters. I feel very free in there. Don't feel so great being myself. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't know. Like, I don't know what it is, but uh, you know, I've been working on it. You know, I do a show now called uh, An Evening with Mary Wall. So I do talk as myself uh, sometimes. And, uh, but like, so that isn't where I put all my work was doing that, like finding that, that what hasn't been my experience. Uh, my experience has been in sketch comedy. I think that's what we do well in this country is sketch comedy. That is our strength and we're always trying to pretend we don't. Well, I know now we have some sketch comedy. But before Baroness von Sketch, you couldn't get a sketch comedy made in this country. They're going, oh no, we've done it. You know, what? Yeah, we've done it and that's what we're good at. Let's do it again, you know. Well, I think when we started, it was all adversity. You know, like in 1973, I think in Toronto, we were still, like Greg Malone used to say, we went from being Britain's doormat to being Canada's laughing stock. I mean, there were still Newfie joke books being put out in Quebec. There were whole stations in Quebec that just told Newfie jokes. So it, there was a lot of adversity, right? And we were sort of ashamed too, in some kind of way. We were ashamed we didn't know enough to celebrate who we were. We just felt like we're not like them. So we should be more like them. And, uh, but somehow or other, I don't know where we got the, we, the first show we did, Caught on a Stick, was making fun of the way that Newfoundlanders were seen. Because in some intrinsic way, in the middle of us, we knew that Newfoundlanders were amazing. So it was, we felt very much like nobody wanted us and that we were the uh, red-haired stepchild kind of of, uh, of Canada and things. And so that was a lot of adversity, but we felt together as a group, you know what I mean? And. Uh, in fact, somebody once accused us in a review of reverse snobbism. That, yeah, that we kind of thought if you weren't, really, you know, I don't remember what it was, but anyway, we, you know, if you weren't us, you were nobody. Like somebody came and interviewed me years ago from Quebec and they went, how did a little country, like a little um, company like yours, uh, from a nowhere place uh, ever get to be on the, the national network. Yeah, go fuck yourself, I guess, would be my answer to that. <laughs> when we came back first to Newfoundland, having done Codden Stick in Toronto, we wanted to build St. John's into the theatrical capital of North America. We kind of failed, but it, we, we, you know, we did, we did all right. I mean, we didn't do badly uh, for having no money and, you know, uh, and no infrastructure. But um, uh, there was, and we never, as far as I know, now other people may feel differently, but I never really wanted to go to America and become part of that larger picture. I wanted to build something here Actually, first I wanted to build something just in Newfoundland and I thought everybody should come here. Then I got caught up in the whole Canadian thing and I wanted to build our culture and our strength. And so I kind of didn't want to become a, 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 just a part of somebody else's dream. I wanted us to have our own dream. I wanted to have my dream. But anyway, no, I'm very happy and very grateful to have been allowed to stay in the country where I wanted to build the wheel and to make some little, you know, bits and pieces of the wheel and hopefully keep going. <laughs>